The U.S. Army has officially received the first prototypes of its robotic combat vehicle light, RCVL, marking a significant milestone in the Next Generation Combat Vehicle, NGCV, initiative. These prototypes, delivered by Textron Systems on August 15 and Oshkosh Defense on August 19, 2024, have been deployed to Aberdeen Proving Ground, where they will undergo rigorous testing. The delivery of these RCVL prototypes is part of the Army's middle-tier acquisition, Rapid Prototyping Program. This initiative aims to accelerate the adoption of cutting-edge technologies within the military, ensuring that the Army remains at the forefront of innovation. The RCVL program is a critical component of the Army's broader modernization strategy, which focuses on integrating advanced robotics, electrification, and artificial intelligence AI, into its forces. The goal is to transition to a more electrified and effective force by 2030, aligning with the Army's modernization goals and efforts to reduce its carbon footprint. Textron Systems' Ripsaw M3 model is one of the prototypes currently being tested. The Ripsaw M3 is equipped with a hybrid electric powertrain, offering a blend of power and efficiency. Its innovative suspension system allows for silent surveillance over a range of more than 225 kilometers, making it ideal for stealth operations. The vehicle's modular design enables it to be easily adapted to carry various payloads, providing flexibility for different mission requirements. Oshkosh Defense has also delivered a prototype, designed with high mobility and modularity in mind. This vehicle can be configured to support a wide range of missions, reflecting the Army's emphasis on versatility. The design of the Oshkosh prototype has incorporated feedback from soldiers, ensuring that it meets the specific operational needs of the Army. In addition to Textron Systems and Oshkosh Defense, General Dynamics Land Systems and MCQ-HDT Global are also competing in the RCVL program. Each company is offering vehicles that prioritize interoperability, modularity, and the use of advanced materials. The integration of hybrid electric propulsion systems and AI capabilities underscores the Army's commitment to leveraging the latest technological advancements. Over the coming months, the U.S. Army will evaluate the performance, mobility, durability, and reliability of these prototypes at Aberdeen Proving Ground. This rigorous testing phase is crucial for determining which platform best meets the Army's requirements. A supplier will be selected in 2025, with the chosen company tasked with developing and delivering up to nine complete system prototypes by 2026. A production decision is anticipated in 2027. The RCVLS are envisioned to play a key role in reconnaissance and escort missions, enhancing the security and effectiveness of manned vehicles on the battlefield. By integrating these robotic vehicles, the Army aims to enhance its ability to conduct operations more autonomously and securely, reducing the risk to soldiers and increasing operational efficiency. The RCVL program represents a significant step forward in the Army's efforts to modernize its forces and transition to a more electrified, technologically advanced military. The integration of robotic combat vehicles is expected to enhance the Army's operational capabilities, providing a strategic advantage in future conflicts. As the Army moves towards its 2030 modernization goals, the successful deployment of RCVLS will be a key indicator of its ability to adapt to the evolving demands of modern warfare.